Herschel Berkeley liquids require a yield stress to flow and after the yield stress is applied their response is of a shear thinning liquid. So if we look at uh, a plot of shear stress versus shear rate, the uh, Herschel Berkeley liquids need a certain amount of yield stress to begin the flow. So the plot begins on the y ordinate after a certain amount of yield stress is applied and then it is a nonlinear curve to show that it has a shear thinning behavior. Now the mathematical model for this behavior can be shown as sigma equals k times gamma dot raised to power n plus sigma zero. Here sigma zero is the yield stress at zero shear rate, k is the consistency coefficient and n is the flow behavior index. Now the units of sigma zero are Pascal second, units of k are Pascal second raised to power n and n the flow behavior index is dimensionless. And one interesting aspect of this model is that it can describe almost every different type of behavior that we encounter for different liquids. For example, in this plot we have shear stress versus shear rate, uh, the rheogram, and we see different types of behaviors of liquids. For example, shear thickening, Newtonian, power law, Bingham, as well as Herschel Berkeley type liquids. So if we make a table where we have K for consistency coefficient, N for flow behavior index, and sigma zero, the uh, yield stress at zero shear rate, and we list Herschel Berkeley liquid, Newtonian liquids, power law, Bingham, and shear thickening, then for Herschel Berkeley liquids, the value of K will be greater than zero, the value of flow behavior index will be between zero and some large number. Sigma zero will be greater than zero because you need a certain amount of yield stress for the liquid to flow. In case of Newtonian liquid, K will be greater than zero, but the value of N will be one and the value for yield stress at zero shear rate, sigma zero will be zero. In case of power law liquid, the consistency coefficient will be greater than zero. The value of n will be between zero and one. And again, sigma zero will be zero. In case of Bingham type liquids, the value of k consistency coefficient will be greater than zero. The value of n will be one. And the value for sigma zero will be greater than zero. And for shear thickening or the dilatant type liquids, the value of k is greater than zero, the value of n is between one and infinity, and the value for sigma zero is zero. And you can substitute these values of k, n, and sigma zero in the Herschel Berkeley model, and you can drive models for all the other types of liquids as we have seen in other modules. For example, in case of a Newtonian liquid, if we substitute n is equal to 1 and uh, sigma 0 is 0, that gives you sigma equals k times gamma dot, where k, in case of Newtonian liquid, was the viscosity. 